What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you this engram opening video. Now I've stacked engrams on a couple of characters now and it's come to the point where I have to decrypt them so I've decided to do a video for you guys. Now due to the epic support since Destiny 2's release I am giving away gift cards for Xbox and PlayStation for you to buy that silver if you wanna. To be in with a chance of winning one simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Okay so let's get into it and we're going to start with my hunter who has a few legendaries on him which are of no importance really hopefully i will get exotics at, at least one of these but here we go let's go okay so i got the road complex aa1 i got the baligant does that say shotgun uh errant knight 1.0 i got the road complex aa1s and the Atlantis, Atlantis wash even does that say? Yes it does. Can't see because that like oh it's the same helmet again. I'm just so unlucky. I just don't get exotics. I, you know what? I'm not even joking people. I've had about two drop if I haven't been farming public events from everywhere. It's ridiculous. So I've got the scale flock which is a weapon I've already had which is it's quite decent in PvP not gonna lie to you guys. And um, what else we got? We had this uh, Balagant does that say? Let's have a quick look at this. Uh, snapshot sights, we have on it steady rounds, fled magwell, uh, full choke and rifled barrel. Hey, that makes a return. So it's look like with any shaders on it. <laughs> oh, that is my favourite shader by an absolute mile. Dawn and dusk. The problem is I've only got three of it, so I'm waiting until I get that, that perfect armour for me before I apply this to anything. So yeah, but that looks incredible. Um, I've got a few helmets as well, but I'm, I'm these are probably going to be legendary shards, to be honest, people. I'm trying to save up legendary shards for um, Zer here, and I don't really need a low um, uh, armor like this, so yeah. Um, it's nothing great either, to be honest. So yeah, definitely legendary shards there. And these are actually the gauntlets, people. That, um, are they going to load up? They probably won't. I see are. These are the ones they had an issue with and have actually taken out the game. It's going to be a hotfix next week which removes these from the game because there's some hatred, I don't know, something related to these, but yeah, uh, it is what it is. It wasn't the intent from Bungie, that's what they said via a tweet, but it's obviously someone who works at Bungie is having a joke. I don't know. And we've got the Rogue Complex AA1 chest piece. Um, nothing great. There's no shots again. And was that all we got? Was that all we got? Okay, so we're going to go to test because I know I've got one bright engram here and then we're going to switch to my titan who is of importance because I've literally just ranked him up and I'm trying to get him as high as possible. Okay, so i got two mods. i got got um, History Polish Shader from Hakka and i got a ship. Let's have a look at that ship. Let's have a look at that ship. Put that on. High line. First actual ship I've got. Not bad. Oh, what's this? Guardian Pink. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, Sam! It looks, it looks pretty good, to be honest, not going to lie. And it's got Nebula Rose. That's not the shade I like. This is the shade I like. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, yeah. Actually, to be honest, that one's better. The one that's got on it's better. But yeah, high line. Um, so yes, guys, now I'm going to switch to my Titan and hoping what I've grinded for on him. Okay guys, so I'm on my newly created Titan. I've literally just run the story with this dude. And as you can see, he's currently a power level of 270. Now the way I've done this is, and I've actually still got everything to do this week, including flashpoints, cage, treasure maps, the nightfall, every single um, weapon quest from each planet. I've still got all of that to do, and I'm already a 270 before doing so. And the way I've done this is, I've used the actual guide I uploaded a few days back. And if you guys wanna check that out, I will link it within the video description. Definitely, in my opinion, the best and fastest way of leveling up that power level. Okay, so on my Titan, as you can see, I have uh, four bright engrams and an exotic. This exotic is the most important here. I'm hoping it will give me something of importance and give me something good. Okay, so let's go. You can see it's a power level 280 as well. Oh yes! 285, yes! Beautiful! Um, that's great. So what's that gonna take me to? 272, that's perfectly fine. At least I'm going up and I've still got plenty of other things to do as well. So I am super happy. I seriously am. Kills with arc melee abilities, trigger health regeneration, and restore melee energy. This will have a um, plus five mod on it, obviously. 
But yes, it is what it is. Now I've got the right engrams to open, so let's go. Let's go. Now I'm really after an exotic sparrow here. That's what I want. Or an exotic ship. I would love one. Well, let's go. Let's go. Sadness. I got Indigo Matrix and two mods. Another ship. Um, Vanguard Magnus Gloss, does that say? And two mods. I got a Twilight Shadow Ghost Shadow. Not bad. And Bumblebee Shader. And a small gift of bright dust, so that's not bad either. So let's have a quick look at some of these. That's actually the first time I've actually added any bright dust, believe it or not. Um, so I've got 250 in total. Let's have a look at that ghost shot, twilight shot. Nice. With bumblebee applied. <laughs> Wicked. Now, I'm wondering, will this make me look like bumblebee from Transformers? Imagine that. How sick would that be? It's just yellow. Look like banana man. Um, so what else did I get there? I got uh, bright dust, but I didn't, get, I didn't get much else to be honest. I got a couple of ships. That was it. I got a ship, so to speak. Um, didn't get nothing else. That I got the other day. A sadness. Let's quickly have a look at this sadness emote. Oh, he's sad. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna actually put it on. Why not? Uh, when I get the acting crucible, I'll do that. And we've got a Helia Strain with Crucible Blue modifications for your ship's transmat systems so you'll always arrive in style. Nice. Um, so yes, let's have a look what this actually looks quite decent with that shader. Oh, well, let's try something else. Let's see what else we can get. Um, let's try the banana, uh, the banana man shader. Yeah. <laughs> but yes guys um that is the end of the video um quite decent um got what i wanted on my hunt titan so so that's great but yes guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people i will see you on that next one